welcome to my guest bedroom and guest bathroom. This was originally recorded in 2015 when we lived in a historic home, beautiful historic home in the country somewhere here in North Carolina. We have since moved several times, but I never shared this video and I thought if you enjoy house tours, specifically our guest bedroom and guest bathroom, and also a look at some of our vintage finds, hopefully you will enjoy this video and a little bit of story time here and there. This is the guest bathroom and authentic vintage original uh, glass doorknob and um, I love it. It's a real old door and we just renovated this bathroom. I wanted when you open the door, the first thing you would see is the bathtub. So we bought the largest bathtub we could afford, a big soaking tub. Uh, so that's the first thing you'll see. You'll also notice the very uh, tall ceilings and these tall ceilings are repeated throughout the house. I also put in a chandelier and you know most of you might be thinking wow that's pretty indulgent in a bathroom but I love the glam and the um, pretty lights that a chandelier gives off even in a bathroom. But believe it or not, I would like to call this bathroom glam on a budget because that is not a real crystal chandelier. I bought that in um, Lowe's. So I bought that at Lowe's, can you believe it, for about $100. My sink, uh, originally there was some tall cabinets, wall to ceiling cabinets in this bathroom, but we ripped those out and just kind of wanted the room to be open so you see a glass mirror uh, and I think I bought that at uh, one of these home department stores uh, in Fayetteville but um, I just wanted you to see the uh, countertops this was made from Corian and we bought this in um, a mom and pop store flowers outside uh, from the garden they're actually azaleas azaleas and they're so pretty and um, this is March, so right around March, April, we get tons of azaleas that come out, and they're so beautiful, um, and much of the South is known for these flowers. So the jewel in this bathroom, I would like to think, or at least on the sink top, the faucet, and I love this. When I first saw this, I said I was going to get this. I actually bought this online and I love how the water comes out. It reminds me of champagne. Um, it's, it's really beautiful. I like the detail. I like the shape. Um, I like the elegance of it. Also, I wanted to repeat the crystal on the details in the cabinets. So we bought this uh, cabinet set from a warehouse. And in this corner, I have a garden bench, and I just thought it was so pretty. I bought that from TJ Maxx, actually. Very shiny, it reflects light. I like it because you can put your toiletries on it while you're taking a bath, um, or you could actually sit on it. Um, it's sturdy enough to sit on it. You can use it indoor, and you can use it outdoor, so it's very versatile, and it just brings a sense of glam into the bathroom. So I also have a big plant here, and I'll just move back so you can see. Um, I love to bring the outdoors in uh, because I just think it's so glamorous and it just makes the home come alive. So this plant does really well in here because of the humidity. It grows really well, very low maintenance. On the backsplash, you will see I have some marble and we bought this marble tile from Lowe's, tons of marble. We haven't actually finished completely because the edging um, needs some trim. Right there you can see I need to put some trim. But we did have a working shower uh, and also uh, the tub works. And I really wanted to be able to have a soaking tub because uh, after a long day's work, uh, sometimes it's just nice to indulge yourself. And so, yeah. It was an investment that we made. I bought it. Lowe's has an online store and um, it's really beautiful. A big, beautiful, modern tub. 
sort of uh, interesting take on the traditional tub that used to be here. Actually, there used to be a cast iron tub and it was sitting right here, which is now open. The tub, the old tub used to be there. The toilet used to be in the corner over there. And there used to be a pedestal sink here where we now put the toilet. So this was a complete renovation. Um, now about the toilet, it was really important to me to have a uh, chair height uh, with a large bowl because I don't you hate sitting on a toilet where you feel your butt is about to fall off and you're squatting literally. So anyway, we got this chair height toilet and it works out pretty well. Okay, over here, you'll see I put a shelf um, where I could put some extra toiletries, some extra towels. So the first thing you see when you walk in are what appears to be these super tall um, windows. But actually, they're, they're tall, but they're not as tall as they appear. The curtains hanging from the ceiling really helps. So here we have the uh, towel rack and... You can see it was part of the set that came. I bought it uh, along with the faucets over here. And so it's really pretty and functional, very sturdy. I also have this picture hanging on the wall. Nothing fancy. I think I got that at TJ Maxx. Nothing fancy. I just wanted a very neutral, simple picture for this bathroom. There's some scones that I also got at Lowe's. And by the way, this is not an endorsement for Lowe's. Lowe's is not paying me to say this. I really enjoyed this bathroom. I enjoyed decorating this bathroom. It was a labor of love. It was so much work. Oh my God, I didn't even tell you about the floor. Yes, we gotta talk about the floor and the ceiling. This was a brand new ceiling um, because there was a huge leak upstairs. And so that was an expensive, unexpected job. Then well, let's talk about the floor. On the floor, we have temple tile. This was, uh, or temple marble, they call this. And I bought this also at Lowe's, I believe. Um, and it's very beautiful, it's very slick. Um, but it was major, major work. Uh, they had to replace the whole floor. Wow. The floor was the biggest challenge. So it turns out that the floor was sitting on a very unsteady foundation. So once they started doing construction, they took out, they had to take out several layers of old tile and underneath the tile, the foundation was very uh, unstable. And so we were strongly advised to redo the floor. Now this house is on a hill and so Taking off all the layers of tile and old floor was no uh, easy feat. On top of the th fact that we now had to put in stilts to construct a brand new floor. So that meant unexpected costs. Anyway, I, I hate to ramble. All I'm saying was when you buy an old house, that's one of the challenges is that there's always something that you did not plan for or anticipate and the standards are now different and so the old materials that they could use before you can no longer use now. In the end, after all the work, after all the construction, um, it was really worth it. We still have some, a few touches um, to do like the molding uh, around the room needs to be completed. That's my bathroom tour, or guest bathroom, really. I'm in the foyer now. Uh, open the door, and this is what you would see. Straight ahead, there's a door, and that is the guest bedroom. Um, another glass knob. And the first thing you might see looking in here uh, would be this old table. I love to collect old furniture, uh, antique furniture if it's in good shape. Um, and let's span across the room really quickly and then we'll come back. So there's a closet and there is the door leading back out into the foyer. And okay, 
So we're gonna span back this way to my left. Uh, here's some large closets in this guest room and they're pretty tall, very functional closets. Span up here and um, I love these curtains. Um, I found them actually, I believe in this house when we moved uh, and I had them washed and sort of um, put them on both windows so that you would have matching curtains. Um, and they're very uh, sort of vintage curtains. I have this old picture that I bought at a local uh, furniture store here in town and it says Bob Timberlake or it's by Bob Timberlake. It says somewhere in time and I think this whole house really uh, feels like it's somewhere in time. It's certainly an old house from the 1930s, late 1920s. Um, it used to be called the President's House. On this side, uh, I have a guest uh, side table, which is actually uh, part of a set uh, that I have in the Carolina room. And I love this. I bought this table actually in New York. And I just have some old magazines. Uh, some of them are fairly new. Actually, I think I love Ebony. Don't you love Ebony? And some Essence from last year. Um, this lamp I bought in a local furniture store here in town. These Roman shades. And again, look at the detail on these vintage curtains. They have all these tassels on them. It's really pretty. And on the wall at the head of the bed, I have hung up some old plates. And I love these old plates and they will go with me wherever I go. Um, each plate seems to have a story, you know? I like to look at them and figure out what the story was behind the plates because they all have very interesting different artwork on there. Um, you can see a woman here holding an American flag, um, what appears to be an old American flag. Uh, up here, there's a farmer, it looks like he's milking some cows, or sh yeah, milking a cow, and there's some sheep. Anyway, I could go on and on about these old plates, but I love them. And this old bed was a bed I've had, uh, I bought this bed actually in Charleston. Um, like the detail on it, uh, like the color, this cherry wood. And we've had this bed, like I said, since Charleston. Charleston was what, uh, back in the year, <laughs> back in uh, 1995 was when I was in Charleston, me and Ketten, I went there for medical school. So that's where I got this bed. And this is an old blanket that my grandma May she rest in peace made, and I keep that up here. Um, okay, so now you've seen the bed. I'm just gonna move back a little bit. And on this side, I have this beautiful, really beautiful detailed uh, dressing table. And you can see it, it was actually hand carved. We actually got it at an auction. Um, I think it might have been made somewhere in the Caribbean and the people at the auction uh, didn't seem to be interested in it and we got it for a steal. I want to say I got this for about $200 which is crazy because this is solid wood. Um, I like the hand carving, um, the hand carved nature. I need to really dust that off. Um, I've got some toiletries in here. People give me gifts, or I, I like to collect fancy soaps. And you know, nowadays you can get the stuff at TJ Maxx at a discount. So I like to collect soaps. And on the dresser, I just have a few things, lotion, um, some candles, some tissue, things you might need if you were a guest. But let's see the detail on this. I mean, it's amazing, and to think, you know, that this was all hand done. So, I love it, love it, love it, love it. 
All right, on this side of the room, I have some more curtains, more blinds, um, and this chair that I've also had for years uh, with a teddy bear on it. Above this chair, I also have this picture. This picture, Caribbean women uh, selling, picking flowers, but also selling flowers is what it looks like. But this picture I put in this room actually came from my grandmother's house in Florida. So my grandma passed away last year. She was a beautiful, vivacious person. She was a registered nurse uh, for many years. Um, she looks a lot like me, except I am a lot taller and um, uh, bigger than she was. But anyway, this reminds me of her house. Okay, on this side of the room, we have Elvira. So anyway, she's one of my Halloween props. Um, we love Halloween, and so we've been collecting Halloween props for years. We didn't know where to put her, so we put her here. And I'm not sure my guests would appreciate that. Um, she is life-size. So I'll just turn it around so you can see she literally is almost or as tall as I am uh, from our last house in Elmira, New York. Uh, and I like to keep um, sort of Halloween uh, supplies or old props. And I think, yeah, I just have some old gauze in here and old magazines. It's a really authentic old piece. And again, I like things that are handmade. Um, or have that handmade quality um, and this really is uh, an old piece probably from the early 1900s and if you know uh, or have some information about old furniture and you want to comment below please do um, I'd love to hear your opinion you don't find these anymore um, I love these old details on the table, I have this old vintage iron. You guys have probably seen these old irons from the past. Um, again, like I said, I used to have an obsession with uh, collecting old vintage things, and I got this at an old flea market. It's super heavy cast iron. Um, you probably all have had some great grandmas or grandmas who grew up with that, using it to iron their clothes. Spanning across this way, I have this old piece of furniture in the corner. Um, some of you may recognize back in the day, this is how people uh, bathe themselves or wash their hands and face. See the old picture? Um, and it's pretty heavy. And you would fill it up with water and someone would hold it above you and you would wash your hands and face right here and you could look at yourself. And I think these, I'm not 100% sure, but I think you would put candles here, which is why I had these old candles with the intention of trying it out. So that is my guest room. Oh, I didn't say anything tell you about the floor. Uh, apparently, this part of the house, uh, once or years ago, there was a fire. And um, when we moved in, the flo floor was destroyed. Uh, you know, my grandfather had uh, fixed up or pretty much had to redo the floors. And this room he couldn't do because it, 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 was, it was destroyed. So we recently put this floor on. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this tour of our guest bedroom and bathroom. And even though we no longer live in this house, it was nice to look back. This is where our children pretty much were raised for 10 years of their life. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you soon.